Let us pray. <clears throat> o oh God, by whose gift St. Francis was conformed to Christ in poverty and humility, grant that by walking in Francis' footsteps we may follow your Son and through joyful charity come to be united with you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. During the Babylonian captivity, the exiles prayed, justice is with the Lord our God, and we today are flushed with shame, we men of Judah and citizens of Jerusalem, that we with our kings and rulers and priests and prophets and with our ancestors have sinned in the Lord's sight and disobeyed him. We have neither heeded the voice of the Lord our God, nor followed the precepts which the Lord set before us. From the time the Lord led our ancestors out of the land of Egypt until the present day, we have been disobedient to the Lord our God and only too ready to disregard his voice. And the evils and the curse that the Lord enjoined upon Moses, his servant, at the time he led our ancestors forth from the land of Egypt to give us the land flowing with milk and honey, cling to us even today. For we did not heed the voice of the Lord our God in all the words of the prophets whom he sent us, but each one of us went off after the devices of his own wicked heart, served other gods, and did evil in the sight of the Lord our God. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants as food to the birds of heaven and the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. O oh Lord, how long? Will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Remember, remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Alleluia. 
Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus answered, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Saint Francis of Assisi. Here's one saint whose attraction does not diminish over time. You know how long ago he lived? 800 years ago. And yet he is just as popular now as he was 800 years ago. Say that about some of the more obscure saints in our church. So certainly his attraction does not diminish over time, but actually seems to be growing with each successive generation. He is the single saint that all generations have more or less canonized on their own. And not only that, he's not just popular with us Catholics, even non-Catholics and even non-Christians have a special place for him in their hearts as well. Over time, he indeed has become all things to all people. He combined a mystical love of God with a mystical love of people, almost a perfect balance of that. The so-called birdbath images that we oftentimes see in people's front or backyards certainly uh, doesn't do justice to much of his personality. I'm sure we all know some of the details of his life, the story of his estrangement from his father, the time that he was living there in Italy was a rather bleak time in the 1200s little squirm skirmishes and wars were an everyday fact of life, along with disease, suffering, and there was immense poverty in Francis's world, which he had been isolated from because his family was privileged. Islam was also encroaching like the terrorism of that day. And unfortunately, corruption had pervaded church circles as well. The world was ripe for a man like Francis. And God always seems to know when that right moment is to send these heroic men and women into our times. The Franciscan movement was popular among the ordinary people. The love of poverty enabled them 
to mix with people, unlike the traditional monastery-bound monks. Francis, through the grace of God, saved the medieval church from disaster. Francis had thousands of followers, even in his own lifetime. 1,500 Franciscan houses sprang up in his lifetime. He desired martyrdom. He desired it so much that he, with strong will, traveled to North Africa to convert the Muslims. And if they didn't listen to him, then he figured he'd die. So he tried to evangelize the sultan. The sultan, when encountered by Francis, said, if all Christians were like you, Francis, I would become a Christian. Imagine that. After conflict within his own order, I'm sure that must have hurt him very much, Francis went off to Mount Averna, where he received the stigmata his spirituality is a spirituality that is at home in creation. It has great respect for this created world. And it, through its ideal of poverty, disconnects the linkage between personal possessions and personal happiness. Francis becomes a model for us. Yes, he was, I suppose, one in a million. He was pretty unique. And after a very painful illness, he died. Legend has it that at that moment, there was absolute silence in the world. Only the larks were singing. Our intercessions are found on page 29. Let us adore Christ, who offered himself to the Father through the Holy Spirit to cleanse us from the works of death. Let us adore him and call upon him with sincere hearts. In your will is our peace, Lord. From your generosity, we have received the beginning of this new day. You created all things and now you provide for their growth. With your own blood, you ratified the new and eternal covenant. On the cross, blood and water flowed from your side. And we pray in this mass, particularly for the Repose of the soul of Harold Galo, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers your children offer in humility and faith in your infinite mercy. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. 